So I've had a f more than a few requests for a video on how to install the uh, the clipper and the Degis Reloaded uh, interface on a CR6 machine. I'm going to assume that you want to run with mainsail. I have not taken the trouble to learn Fluid and I don't want to start splitting my attention between the two interfaces. So if mainsail is not your jam, sorry, I don't have a video for you. But if you want to use mainsail, they have their very own website for documentation. It's uh, docs.os.mainsail.xyz and yes I'm a Canadian XYZ is how it's pronounced. So uh, this is their main screen. I'll leave you to read it yourself rather than me reading it out to you but what it's going to do here what I'm going to follow is putting mainsail OS onto a Raspberry Pi. I happen to have a Pi 3B plus lying about um, and so I will I will be using that as my target. And Mainsail OS is a version of the Raspberry Pi OS that includes Mainsail, Clipper, Moonraker, Crow's Nest, etc., as it lists here. Okay? So these are the uh, hardwares that it supports. So, getting started. Mainsail OS supports several types. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm in Raspberry Pi model. I just clicked on that. Raspberry Pi Imager is the software we're going to use. It will destroy everything on the SD card, so for me this is the second time around installing on the same card. Yes, you need a Raspberry Pi Imager. So you can go here, as they say, and take down the latest Raspberry Pi OS Imager. Download for Windows. In my case, you have a choice of uh, Linux or Mac OS if you don't have a Windows PC. Click on that, and it downloaded the imager. So we can show that. And run it. Click install. And this is the Raspberry Pi imager. We choose an operating system. So we want to go other specific purpose OS, thin clients, etc., 3D printing operating systems. So we go there. We want 3D printing in specific. In particular, we want mainsail OS specifically. And the recommended install is 32 bits. You can read their explanation of when would you ever go 64, and we're going to go 32. So now we've selected the operating system we want. We're going to choose the storage device we want to put it to. So this is why your card needs to be in the machine already. It's going to scan my drives now and give me some choices. Windows doesn't like the drive because it's already been formatted with this operating system once before. But that's, there's my choice. It's my card. So I select that. Right now we've done both those things. We could go ahead and write, but it's recommended that you do some presets first. So here on the settings, we can set the host name. So we can find it locally. If we go main, well, let's call it DGIS Reloaded. Okay. For fun. Degis reloaded local. We want to enable SSH because we're going to try and uh, SFTP into the machine later so we can copy files over. Uh, use password authentication. Sure, that'll work. Set the username and password now if you like. Should not really change from Pi. So it's using my Windows ID right now. Don't change from Pi because the mainsail OS is pre-configured to assume that your username is Pi. You can change it all later if you like, but it's best not to have to start by reconfiguring everything after you've done the install. Pick a password you like, and remember that for later. Yes, I have a wireless LAN. Yours will be different. But you may as well type it in while you can. Pick the country that you're in. Helps to know your country code. That's for wireless rules. 
set uh, where you're at so it knows what time it is not where I'm at but it's the same time it'll do keyboard layout and you're good to go we'll save that and now we can go right yes we're sure off she goes I will speed this up and skip you to the end while I endure it so it took roughly half an hour to make that installation on my 128 gig uh, SD card. And now Raspberry Pi Imager is verifying the installation before it says, hey, we're done. So it took about the same amount of time again to verify the installation. And now, um, because this software is not written by the mainsail crew, they're happily saying, go ahead and take the card out of the reader. At this point, what I do is cancel that, leave it in the reader, and go back to the instructions and make sure there's nothing else to do first. So we've used the imager, we've flashed mainsail OS, more or less following the instructions that are written there. We've written the image to the card. The whole process will take some time. It says we can go ahead and remove it now and continue with first boot. After successful flash, there are a couple of steps to take. After it's written to the card, please insert the card into your device. Okay. Now, all I did was leave it in the browser on that window and wait patiently and all by itself the window has refreshed itself and accessed mainsail so at this point mainsail is installed on the machine you'll notice the message says hey where's printer config because we haven't finished the installation yet but we do have mainsail OS installed now if you're not familiar with mainsail the dashboard is typically where you can monitor a series of windows that show you what's going on with the machine and where it's at and whether you can run things and there's a console command from here and so on. Way down at the bottom is the tab called the machine. And the machine has a file viewer, file management system actually, with several things to choose from, including config examples where you could look up an example of a printer config for any machine including the CR6 and edit the file from there but since I'm going to install one of my own I don't need to go there um, the documentation is the clipper documentation for the version that is presently installed because they keep maintaining that they'll keep changing the online docs as they change the online version of clipper you want to be sure you can follow the instructions for the version you have installed so you have access to their documentation right there. And there's a series of logs that Clipper and Moonraker and Crow's Nest, the camera application, will maintain that are stored in that folder there and you can access them from the machine tab. So while we're in config, these files have been installed automatically as part of the mainsail OS installation. So you're that close. Sonar is a keep alive little ping routine that runs in the background because some people's machines drop offline. You may or may not need to activate that. I don't. Time lapse is so you can make time lapse photography, you know, those wonderful shots, uh, series of shots showing how your print evolves over time. A lot of fun. Haven't played with that yet. Mainsail config is exactly that, it keeps mainsail going. Moonraker, same deal. It'll tell Moonraker what's okay, what's not, who to maintain, and so on. Moonraker is keeping this up to date here. Now, right now it says Clipper's invalid because it's not all there. We have to finish the installation first, and then we'll be able to maintain things from right there. Okay, so we have that running. We go back to first boot. As soon as the boot process is finished, there it is available. We did work, so we can ignore that. We recommend you update the system to the current version. So even though, right, we regularly release, when you update the update manager, you'll see something like this. And so we did.
So now we're going to click on the arrow and update everybody as best we can. Update manager, one blue arrow. Off she goes looking for the very latest of each of these components. You can watch the behavior up here. I cheated a little bit and let you skip to the end, but there it is now. Everybody says he's ready to be updated. So this is the version that's presently installed on the machine. This is the latest version available online at GitHub. You'll notice it can even upgrade the operating system itself. So you may as well let it do that. So now we're going to say update all components. See the console tells you what's going on and when Moonraker gets updated it will disconnect this because it's communicating through Moonraker. And you'll just close the window and get back in. Kind of boring for you guys. Let me pause this. So now that Moonraker has disconnected, this is how you try again to get back in. And we can close that window because it's finished with all the updates. Every time you see that initializing in a timeline, that's mainsail rebooting on inside your browser to access the latest screen. And our update manager now claims everything is up to date. That's such a faint green on my screen, you maybe can barely see it. But a little green check mark, everybody says up to date. And there's a little alert here. So let's see why. Repo has untracked source files. Okay, that'll mean we need to get into moonraker.conf if we want to allow timelapse.py to be maintained by Moonraker. We've shown all the update. We've done that as well. We presented with a few warnings, right? Like it can't find clipper, it can't find uh, printer.cfig. Uh, let's look at main sales configuration page for that if you want to understand printer config. But let's stay here for a minute. These settings are readily available. I'm going to give you a set of uh, printer.config file that you can work from, and then you'll do well to go to that configuration page until you understand what you're looking at in the file because it's your machine and you should be making it whatever you want it to be not what I said it should be right I'm just giving you a kickstart we recommend checking mainsail config and adapting it to your needs which I have also done after that the warning should disappear congratulations la 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 at this point, I think I'm going to stop the video because it's getting to be 15 minutes long plus already. And we've only got to the part where now we're ready to start putting DJs Reloaded in. <laughs> so let me just summarize. Where you're at now is you have, if you followed my steps along, you have now installed Clipper and Moonraker and Mainsail as part of a mainsail OS installation default using the username pi because that's how they pre-configured everything and the password of your choice if you used a different name than DJs Reloaded that's fine whatever name you put don't forget because that's where you're gonna go whenever you want to access the system and you have in the machine folder as part of their default installation crow's nest config which is how you will tell it what your webcam is assuming you want to use one you'll need to look at their instructions to figure out how to configure this to work with the camera of your choice i have mine pre-configured it's working with a brio um, logitech brio camera but yours may not be so by all means, you know, when you're ready to use a webcam, dig into their stuff and figure out how that's done. Mainsail config. Don't think you're going to want to touch that yet. We'll figure out what we're going to do with this when we come to install DJs Reloaded. Moonraker config. You may want to add your domain, your internal network domain to the list of trusteds so that when you're accessing Moonraker it doesn't say uh, sorry I protected you from yourself 
but right now you're able to get into DJs Reloaded because that's actually, I could have said dot .local. I'm browsers being generous and ignoring the fact that I didn't. But everything in dot .local is accessible and fair game. And down here where it says time lapse, it's disabled by default because they assume by default you're not using it. So go ahead and follow their advice about uncommenting things. If you had uncommented, for instance, the update manager time lapse stuff here, you wouldn't have that exclamation mark back in the machine. It does no harm to leave it there if you're not using the application, which I do not. So I won't be, I'm not qualified to lead you through that. I don't use it myself. So I'll meet you again in the next video and we'll show you how you will now go about starting from this baseline, Mainsail OS, latest baseline installed and updated to the latest of Clipper, Moonraker, and Mainsail Online. Now we're ready to come along and take the DGIS Reloaded installation, the Clipper component, and put it in here. Okay, I'll be back.